Now for this next part, it's relatively easy by comparison to the first part and quite short. We've got to find the speed of B when it's moved one meter up the plane. And what I've done here is mark in the acceleration of B that we found in the first part, two-fifths G meters per second per second. So in order to do this, B started, say, at a point down here, and it started at rest. So we've got uh, an initial velocity here of zero meters per second. And it travels up the plane then to, say, a point up here, and we've got to find out what that speed is when it gets up to here. Let's call it V, V meters per second, when it's traveled a distance, say, of one meter. That's one meter from there to there. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, it's a typical SUVAT type of problem, S-U-V-A-T. Remember, S is displacement, and if we have positive as up the plane, then the displacement S from here to here is going to be one meter. So we've got one meter for S. U, the initial velocity, well, that was zero meters per second. V, the final velocity, well, we want that. Acceleration, we got that from the first part, two-fifths G meters per second per second. Time, well, we're not interested in that. We're not given that, okay? So we just need to find out V. What equation are we going to use? Well, it's got to be V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So that's what we're going to use then. So to get V, V squared equals U squared. Well, U is zero, so we can leave that out. It's two now multiplied by the acceleration, two-fifths G, multiplied by S, which is one. So you're going to get 4G over five. And that's V squared. All we need to do now is take the square root of that to get V. V equals the square root then of four-fifths G. Now, if you take G to be 9.8, then V comes out exactly as 2.8. So therefore, V equals 2.8. 2.8 then meters per second. And there's your answer.